go. So I just want to get up close to gutted mine. No. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Oh god. Bad chat. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. Oh, these look like good books. Aedra and Daedra. Chances folly. There's potions on the shelf here. Looks excellent. Oh, and a lot more books. My library is off to a good start. for this to get uh yeah back off you really don't want to be standing there Nadine I'm giving you the count of five five four Three, two, one. Thank you. <laughs> I that was. Okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor Burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Maybe, Carne, maybe. It's okay, Bacon took it out. I'm just gonna leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> a closet with a closet? What the heck? 
Does this inn not have any rooms? This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredible. Try one more time. This yours? <laughs> uh oh. Why aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Sarians are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. I don't know. They failed to notice my hands. Maybe they won't notice my... That was real cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my home too. Doubt that. I hope to see you again. Best outfit in the What? Why, you bastards. Get ready, here comes another one. Let's get them. Take him down. Go on, dump it into the enemy. Nice. Oh, oh, okay. That's a little more. I need two more salt, Peter, and I should be able to do it. Lucas has to stop picking up books. You're going to end up with them everywhere. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um, His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. Ha. 
saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything... Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Just Aloy. as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. Where am I going to want to stop these? Oh, whoops. A little before that. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it. Uh, okay, so... I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. Squid. And this is exactly. <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. <laughs> wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. <laughs> Several hours later. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. Oh my god, so many... What is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still... Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. How are you not dead? Excuse me.
secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Sketchy, how's it going? It's good to see you. I hope everybody is doing well tonight. hope everyone had a good weekend. We're going to be playing some Subnautica Below Zero tonight. Let me see. There we go. Hey, Anstara. How's it going? Let me see here. Hey, Vikings. Going all right? How's you? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. I just watched the new episode of The Last of Us. I will not say anything about it except that holy crap. And that's it. You gotta watch it yourself. Or not. I mean, if you're not watching it, then fair enough. But damn, it was good. So where did we leave off? We just played this a couple days ago, right? Oh, I, if I remember correctly, we finally used the Robo Penguin and we got fur. So we've got the cold suit. Right, right, okay. Yes, the show. I'm not going to talk a lot about it because spoilers. Uh, right, what are we working on? What do we need to do here? How's my salad situation? I should probably make a few more. Oh, shoot. Um, we can put that away. I shouldn't need those anymore. Put them together in a different container. Actually, maybe I'll leave them in the truck so I've got them on the go if I need them. There we are. You completely forgot about it? Clearly, you need to watch it. So, how's everybody's weekend been? I hope you've all had a good one. I finished the first book that I've read in a long, long time. That was surprisingly needed, actually. I I'm impressed at how much I enjoyed that. It was really, really good to actually read something again. I need to do it more. Finally caught you online. How do I pronounce your name? Is it Enquietus? Enquietus? I love the way it's spelled, but that's a tough one for me to pronounce without a guide. Um, we're just barely getting started, and I'm trying to figure out what we need to do. My choice of nickname has been an issue for everyone. That's okay. People have trouble pronouncing my name as well. Regretted it a long time ago? Enquietus. 
Inquietus? Inquietus? Okay, Enquietus. That's not too bad. I think we're going to go back and test out our brand new cold suit. I want to see how effective it is. So we're going to go to the big area that's on land. Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay, I've got lots of salads. I probably don't need that many salads, but also that just means I can restock. Whoa, what? Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. There we go. I'll keep five on me. And we'll have a fully stocked cabinet of salads if I need more. I'm hoping that with the suit, I won't need nearly as many as I usually do. Also, need to try to remember, do I have... Okay, I do have the water filtration suit. Ooh. Um, you know what? I might need to keep more of these on me. I just realized... Without the water filtration suit, my hydration is going to drop a lot faster than I'm used to now. You're on the wrong side of the planet for me to catch you online most of the time. I don't think it's that I'm on the wrong side of the planet so much that I keep my sleep schedule on the wrong side of the clock. <laughs> I'm actually in the eastern time zone in Canada. So it's almost midnight here and I'm just starting my stream and I'll be wrapping up around 4 a.m. You know that one? Same here. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. So, oops, sorry. Okay, so I'm still dropping body temperature, but it is significantly slower, so that's good. I would like to take a little look at the bridge if I can. I don't remember which side the controls we found were on. Oh, is there more stuff here? Looks like I already opened that one. No, looks like, okay, I already got to all of it. What is that? Ruptured hydraulic fluid? How did I not notice that last time? What the heck? Creep vine seed cluster and four gel sacks. That's trivial. I can do that. That's really easy. You're up here. Oh, gotcha. That's okay. Hydration's not that big a deal. Attention check fluid levels. Question is... Oh, damn it. That's so easy. How did I not notice? Crap, okay, well, now we know what to do. That just made this whole area so much easier. It's not really gonna give this a whole 
area a giant test, but that's or of the suit, but that's okay. So it was four gel sack and a creep vine fruit thing. Creep vine cluster. I have all that I need right back at the base. Those things are jerks. They completely deserved it. Well, this is good. Learning the secret of the hydraulic fluid means that I don't have to worry about making progress today. We're definitely making a lot of that. I was a little concerned because I'm starting to run low on hints as to what to do next. Thank you. To answer my own question, you should be able to stack two large rooms in both games. I think the upper room didn't want to build because you still had solar panel blocking it. I know that info is two months out of date, but FYI. Uh, that's okay. I actually, uh, in the other game, I did indeed build a double-decker large room eventually. Oh, thank you. I haven't tried it in this one because I honestly I didn't even really use the extra space in the first game but I did confirm that you can so thank you whoops I didn't mean to take two of those That's the only annoying thing about watching a game in backlog. You want to yell at the screen as if it were live. I was actually just uh, commenting on that exact problem to Ultrasaurus the other day. 
I sometimes watch her VODs and I always want to chat and it drives me crazy. two have the same problem? Yeah, I expect it's a pretty common problem. So I hope everyone's had a good weekend so far. Uh, I was commenting at the top of the stream. I I haven't really done that much other than streaming, but the streams have been really good this weekend. Friday and Saturday night were really, really fun. What's going on? Uh, game? Uh, okay, that was weird. It stopped responding to the keyboard for a little bit. That's really weird. I'm going to ignore the hydration redemption for just a short time, Sketchy. I made the tea way too recently. I don't want to burn my mouth. But I will hydrate in a little while. So thank you for the redemption. Story time? What do you mean? Achievement unlocked. Necessary repairs. There we go. Interesting that they give you the ability to retract the bridge. Didn't really want the flare, but thanks. I'm sensing interesting patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. Okay. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tumbling beneath the ice. Oh, that's cute. Thanks for the warning, Alan. Oh, for the game, yes.
I don't care for that sound. Winters. What the hell, Winters? It is indeed, yes, it's intentional. What the? Winters and Sketchy, what the hell? You did you just wait? Did wait? Hang on. I have a little train icon. Did you start a freaking hype train? What the hell? Thank you guys. Um, yeah, I, I, I. I I suppose we need to do a story time very soon. What the... What the hell? Vikings, thank you for the bits. What the... But... Uh, guys, thank you. What the hell? That's so kind. What the heck? Level 2 hype train. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. That is super, super kind. Um, yeah, thank you so much for gifting all of those frickin' subs. We will do story time. We have ads beginning in about 24 minutes. Maybe we'll go back to my old habit of doing story time after a break, if that's okay with you guys. So, uh, if you've never seen story time before, what basically happens is when we hit the daily sub goal, um... I read you one of the stories that I've got that I have written expressing the lore of the Library of Lore itself. Uh, and so, Winters, would you care to decide which story that we're going to have? We just recently did the, uh, the, um, the curious case of the buried books. Sorry, I'm a little bit flabbergasted at the moment. You deserve it. Thank you so much, Vikings. I really appreciate that. Oh, what do we have here? You know, I haven't really seen much in the way of tunneling worms, I have to say. How do I get over here? Oh, that well, was surprisingly easy. And that's not a ladder. That's a stairway. Interesting. Oh, food. That's good. And I can make more water. Thumper, are we going all Dune here? New blueprint synthesized. I'm a little suspicious of this one. <laughs> Thump slings. Thank you for the expressiveness. Okay, so we need a regular battery and we need magnetite for that. Magnetite could be a problem, honestly. Thumper upgrades. The finalized thumpers are pretty useful. The original versions were pretty bad, but these give us almost double the time to explore some of the mineral-rich nodes. The vibrations of the ice worms sometimes knock loose some pretty valuable stuff if you take the time to search for it. I wonder how all these minerals even got trapped in the ice. Special equipment required to collect this resource. You know, I guess there's no real reason I couldn't explore this area with the uh, prawn suit. 
I'm not sure how you get it onto land, but maybe that's why they gave us a staircase instead of a ladder here. That's an interesting thought. And this is making me kind of suspicious. What is that? Titanium. It's not really diamonds I need. I have buttloads of diamonds, but good to know about. What? Winters! Okay, now you're seriously reminding me that I really, 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 really need to make... Um... <laughs> an alert for the gifted subs because that's a lot of alerts thank you so much what the heck I just need one piece of magnetite ore Winters you are so kind what the heck wait was that ore Oh, wait, that's, I think, lithium. If I can even get at it, which I, I'm not certain that I can. See fluid intake. Uh, I can do that. Winter is coming, sorry for the bad pun. Here is a bad pun for you, yes indeed. We can do that. Okay, we already did that one. Let me get a fresh new terrible one. How do mountains stay warm in the winter? Snow caps. An oddly appropriate pun for tonight. You like trains. I appreciate it. That's seriously way too kind. Okay, where is this? Oh, this is... Okay, this is where we came from. Where am I going to get magnetite from? I don't love that sound. In this game, they seem to want to hide the magnetite behind things that you need the robo-penguin to get. Level 3 hype train. You... You guys are crazy, and I appreciate it. You know, I wouldn't have thought it, but I do believe they may have gone above and beyond the sound design of the original game with this one. According to my psychiatrist, certifiably wow, Kellen Ray. Wait, what are these? Oh, okay, it's snow that I can pick up, not the plants. There's a lot to explore here. Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like the sound of that. I think we'll come back after we've got one of those thumper thingies. This suit is something pretty special though. Look how long it's taking my body temperature to go down now. I mean, it is still going there. It's not gonna last forever, but. But uh, it is definitely helping a whole lot. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. The prawn suit? Maybe. Well, I have the prawn suit, technically. I'll just leave whatever that was trapped over on that side for now. Although, if it is true that they bore underground, that probably isn't going to really stop it if it wants to come this way. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. I really appreciate that. That's amazing. I quite enjoyed your Civ playthrough yesterday. Had to watch most of it on the TV, so couldn't chat. Thank you so much for being there anyway, Kellen Ray. Whether you were able to chat or not, that means a lot. I had a really great time with the Civ stream yesterday. We are going to play some more of that in the future. Also, did you guys see? I posted in the Discord. I found an article about it. There's a good deal of speculation that Paradox's event that they're going to be holding shortly... Uh, I don't remember exactly what day it's going to be, but it's going to be relatively soon. Um, there's speculation that they might finally be announcing City Skylines 2, which I am super, super hopeful that they're going to actually do, because I would really love a new version of that game. Even though it does kind of mean resetting things and going back to the beginning and not having the millions of expansions that we've got for the original game, the original game is starting to show its uh, age a little bit. It would be really super nice to have a new version of that. I am curious. I just want to see. Can we... Holy... Yep, you can jump. Okay, I wasn't sure how you'd get this out of the water. That's apparently not a problem. Man, I wonder almost if you could jump the gap in the bridge with this thing. Let's try it. Nope. <laughs> okay. That's not a thing that's happening. A new cities would be awesome. They're certainly kings of the city sim at the moment. Yeah, they really are. It's so good. Oh, this... This might be a bit of an issue. That's going to work. I have no idea, Sketchy. That's not a series I've ever paid a particular amount of attention to, so I couldn't tell you. I'm not familiar with that one.
Oh, that's another thing. Wait. The boxes are open. What the heck? No, they're not. They're not open. This is a new one. Thumper batteries. Logs and communications. From Omar on behalf of Mining Crew Delta to Quartermaster Joe, I am speaking on behalf of the entire Mining Crew. Day in and day out, we are risking our lives in this cursed territory. When we signed up for this mission, we were not told about these ice worms. We lost a solid fifth of the crew before Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency shuttled off the planet. Marcus was supposed to retire after this job. Instead, he was skewered by an ice worm. Have you ever seen someone get skewered by an ice worm? These thumpers that the company developed are just a stopgap solution. They do a great job of distracting the ice worms when they have power. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Would it be possible to send us additional replacement batteries? A little more juice would go a long way. Respectfully, Omar and the Delta crew. Okay, so that's an alternate method of gaining the alt, the uh, thumper technology. Oop, there's another pad there. Tunnels. I love and hate exploring these tunnels. They're marvels to the power of the ice worm. The sheer amount of ice they're able to cut through in moments takes us a couple of days. Their tunneling mechanism is ruthlessly efficient. Altera could only dream of having this sort of mining capability. The ice worms uncover mineral-rich pockets as they tunnel, but going beneath the surface is so risky. We've lost so many already. I don't understand why we have to stay in this particular area of the glacier. I can't wait to get off this hell hole. Ice hole? Whatever. I hope you're enjoying the relative calm at Copa. Titanium. They're giving me all the types of ore that I really don't need at the moment. fourth one was a decade ago yeah well who knows then there's always hope but I haven't heard anything or if I have I didn't really pay attention because I wasn't really paying attention that's not really a series that's on my radar I've heard of it I've heard they're good but I don't really know anything about it I think this is where I found the worm I assume it's a worm. Oh ho. Well, that sounded friendly. silver Oh, look 
what we have here. Okay, unfortunately, I can't really use that at the moment. And suddenly we're playing um, No Man's Sky again. Interesting. Okay. None of that particularly looks like magnetite. <gasps> Look what I see. Oh, the worm actually did a pretty good job of uh, banging up the prawn suit. We're suddenly at almost half health. get all the cubes I can possibly get. And the fact that we've got these here means that I am absolutely going to craft a, an extra storage module for the prawn suit. No worries, California. Welcome back to the ranks of the lore keepers. I will be taking a break in less than five minutes, and then we're going to do story time when I get back. I have a little more space for ion cubes. That's so many ion cubes. Wow. Oh, I don't have any space. Oh, nope. There we go. I guess that'll do for now. No room, okay. Now we have to make it back. Okay, so that's where we're parked. Speed boost? I don't think I have a speed boost. does very precious little, apparently. It doesn't seem to have any effect on walking speed. Maybe it works better in the water.
Okay, we've got some new stuff here. I don't really have room to hold new stuff, though. This cave looks familiar, as does that landing out there. sure where I came from, though. Okay, we're parked there. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, never mind. I was noticing my health had gone back up to full. I was thinking I had recharged, but I haven't. My power is going down gradually. Oh, boop. Hang on, hang on. We have to redock here. Come on. Perfect. Oh, ads are on. I'll be right back with story time. some repairs they don't care if you move it's just me who's stuck well i guess we should help them out yes yes i knew i liked this fellow the minute i saw him i say legion you're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady you know i'll take it back let's congratulate his wife <laughs> the hell? We're going there. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. That is one huge door. God. <laughs> what is this gang up on Gordonite? Um Oh 
Gotcha. Watch the disc. No, watch the. No, watch. No. Okay. Clearly there were some areas they had. <laughs> Clearly there were some areas they have not invested a lot of work. In. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that? I forgot the grease is flammable. Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog jog rog? Um. Oh god, thank you, Greeny. <laughs> I'll keep that in. Okay, I am back. Uh, thank you so much, guys. So, Winters, you never did tell me which story you would like to have read for story time. If you would like to speak up, otherwise I will just go with my own uh, judgment. Thank you, Sketchy. Also... Sketchy, you redeemed uh, Hydrate earlier. It's probably been long enough now. Thank you, Winters. Story three? Okay. That is Seven Years of Chaos, which I probably shouldn't have called that because it just highlights that... <laughs> We're going on nine years now, and I haven't written a story since. I need to get on that at some point. All right, guys. We're going to do story time. Those of you who are not familiar with story time, what we do is anytime we reach our daily sub goal, we uh, read a little bit of the lore of the Library of Lore, because I am a writer, and uh, I've, I've done a little bit, not as much as I need to, but I've done a little bit of writing about the back characters, you know, the background of the library and stuff that goes on. So we're gonna read Seven Years of Chaos tonight. Let's see if this one works. So far, so good. The sun beamed through the library's windows at the end of another workday, a signal to those in the headquarters' main offices that it was time to pack it in for another evening. Some took the hint and got on about the rest of their business elsewhere. Others stayed behind, engrossed in one project or another. Joe Dury was one of the latter, though he eyed the door and rubbed his eyes to clear his vision. It had been a long day. His interest was suddenly caught by voices coming down the hallway outside. No, I swear it's true. Down in the lower local stacks just a couple of years ago, I was putting a copy of a movie away. Raiders of the Lost Ark, if I remember correctly, an original release version under the original name. I had the media in hand. I was reaching out to put it back in its shelf space when out of nowhere, a giant boulder runs right down the hallway towards me. Marta, he thought, one of the library's legions of stack, stacks workers. 
Get out, a voice he hadn't recognized said, more than a hint of excitement in his voice. That happens to any everyone, really? Uh, Joe Dury thought, tales of the library's own mischief. There were fewer things he loved sharing stories of more than the library's attempts at keeping people's lives interesting. He hopped off his chair. Stretching his legs was probably not a bad idea anyway. You'd better believe it. I had to climb a ladder to get out of its way. The damn rock knocked the ladder right over, sent me tumbling right back into the aisle. Thankfully, I landed behind it with nothing worse than a twisted ankle for my trouble. Marta, entertaining the newcomers again, Jodori asked, reaching the door to the hall. Jod, Jaren, meet a library legend. Jodori here has been keeping this place running since before your grandparents were born. Jod, Jaren here has been with us a couple of months now. His eyes are finally opening to the realities of library life. Aye, uh, it's true, lad. The library is funny that way. It has a special connection with media and with reality, and the line between them sometimes gets a bit blurry. I got this, he said, indicating a peculiar scarring pattern of squares running down his forearm, in pretty much the same way Marta had her incident. Was returning a movie to its media collection. Free Guy was the name, film about a computer-simulated artificial life. The library de the shelf just as I was putting it back. Took a bit of me arm with it, too. Just happened last week. Marta nodded at Jodori's story. And not that far from here, if I remember right, no? Jodori paused a moment. That's true, and now that you mention it, that's a bit concerning. It had always been possible for such things to happen anywhere in the library, but they almost never happened in the area local to the headquarters. Two instances within a lifetime was unusual. Two instances within as many years? Such a thing had never happened before. A bit concerning was some serious understatement. That's two in as many years, Marta said, mirroring Jodori's thoughts. Is that a lot? Jaren asked. It's unheard of, Marta said, and in the library, that's really saying something. What can we do about it? Jaren asked, face tightening in concern. What else? Jodori replied. We get more information. There's no shortage of that, at least. The next several days were a flurry of activity from all the senior library staff, extending quite a few rungs down the hierarchy as people flitted about, fetching information and running it through various analyses. Then, over several more days, the flurry of activity became a storm as more information was pulled and the analyses were run over and over again. It's inescapable, Jodori said. Marta, Jaren, Halera, and a number of others looked at him uneasily at the words. How many times have we run the data? How many references have we checked? How many records did we pull? Almost too many to count, Marta admitted. Something changed in 2014. Several things changed in 2014, Halera chimed in. Wasn't that the year that, Jaren began, that head librarian Gord rose to his current position in the library? Yes, Jodori said, sighing and pacing the corridor. We don't know that that's actually the cause, Marta said. It's possible that it's unrelated, a side effect of some other change. Anything is possible, Jodori agreed, nodding. But speculate ain't getting us anywhere. We need to double down and get more... He was cut off by a sudden roaring as a vehicle that resembled nothing so much as a motorcycle with drone air rotors in place of wheels popped into their world frame just down the hall and exploded in a gout of fire, metal fragments, plastic shards, bullets, and blood. What the hell? Marta screamed. Halera dove under a large piece of flying debris, rushing to the aid of the pilot, a young Hispanic woman. I know this kind of vehicle, Halera yelled over the din. They use these in Yara. The head librarian has had a lot of dealings with that place in the last few weeks. Nobody really knew exactly what the head librarian got up to in his office, but those who got close to the doors claimed they often heard voices as though he was addressing a large number of people. Other sounds were common, gunshots and laughter. An unusual combination, to say the least. It had never been that way with any previous head librarian that Juduri had ever known. Some of the staff helped with subscribers and follows and contributions to the library itself, but the specifics were always a little vague. A third incident in two years. Two of them within weeks of each other. A connection to the head office, maybe the head librarian himself. Jodori had a sinking feeling that chaos was going to become the new normal around the library headquarters from that point on. There you go. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Uh, no worries. I'll, uh, I'll, I, these are first draft stories, honestly. I haven't really done any editing to them, so I can fix stuff like that eventually. I appreciate the pointer, though. That does make it easier. Oh, thank you, Matt. I'm doing pretty good, Matt. How are you doing? It's good to see you. All right. Head 
back to base and see what we can do to build some of these new tech pieces we've learned. Maybe make some more batteries now that I've got bundles and bunches of ion cubes. I just hope that that uh, cache of ion cubes is regenerative the way the one was in the original Subnautica. It kind of looked like one of them, or maybe two of them are, but we'll have to see. the raid thank you so much sir how are you doing tonight welcome on in guys mr soggy ramen has been a member of the library here for so long i'm not even sure i remember how long it's been so uh let's show some support and go give him a follow if you're not already there we go how are you doing tonight, Mr. Soggy Ramen? Oh my gosh. You're playing Fallout 4? Oh, that's amazing. You don't need to be told how much I love Fallout 4. What's going on, man? I hope uh, your stream went well. Tell me all about it. How did Fallout treat you this evening? And if you are new here, before I get too sucked back into playing, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while I will throw in real-world physical brick Lego builds as well. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome. Come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, that Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Yes, you did it perfectly, Mr. Soggy Robin, and I greatly appreciate it. So how was Fallout? How did that go for you? We're just playing a little bit of Subnautica Below Zero this evening. We haven't been at it too long, and we've already made some significant progress, so I'm pretty happy about that. We managed to get the bridge working again, and we're exploring new areas. 
I've learned that I can do it much safer if I use the prawn suit, which is really nice. Because there are some pretty scary looking enemies that way. Just ran, snuck through to Diamond City. Still not talking while no one's there. It's something I'm just going to have to do. Yes, that's one of the hardest things it took me a while to get used to doing, too. I don't tend to naturally talk a whole lot. Just in my day-to-day -day life, I'm a pretty quiet person. So it was kind of a stretch for me to learn to just kind of talk to an empty room. Welcome aboard, Captain. But if you don't, it's hard to convince people that they should stick around and watch. Uh, oh, you know what? I just realized all my stuff is still on board the prawn suit there. Well, at least I've got a lot of storage space. should do. Well, that's most of it anyway. Others awake to sleep here, so oh, so not only do you have to learn to talk, you I have to also remember to talk quietly. Yeah, that's awkward, but I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. Now we are going to want some ion batteries, so that requires gold, silver, ore, and lithium. Thumper requires battery, titanium, and damn it, magnetite. Crap, right. That's the combination that got me to stick around for a bit. The live updates of your train of thought combined with low chat activity. Most gamers end up talking to chat about random stuff while playing and you don't know what they're doing in-game or why. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's a, actually a selling point, then. There you go. Something to shoot for, Mr. Soggy Roman. How's Ocean Planet treating you tonight? Pretty good, honestly. We had our first encounter with the tunneling worms. But I was in the prawn suit, so they really didn't do much to me. Okay, we have ourselves an ion battery, but we're going to need a normal battery to craft the item. We also need titanium, which I left out here. And I am going to have to figure out a way to get magnetite. I suspect that's going to involve needing to use the penguin thing. So we might as well head back, I suppose. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, Mr. Soggy Ramen, um, I do have a how-to channel in the Discord. I know you're on the Discord. Feel free to ask questions around there, or even during stream. That's fine, too. I'm happy to talk about streaming. But there's a streamer corner, which... Let me just see something here. If you guys will give me half a moment. Well, maybe I'll have to take, uh, I'll, I'll take care of it off stream. I will make sure to give you the streamer tag on the Discord. You 
should be able to access the streamer corner and the how-to channel. Or maybe, you know what, my back is kind of killing me today, so I, when I take my breaks, I'm not actually getting up and moving around tonight. So I will take care of it when I'm on break in about half an hour. That'll give me something to do. I honestly like talking about random stuff, kind of excited for Starfield. I've noticed that a lot of the games I own on PlayStation are fantasy apocalypse games that I'm lacking in the sci-fi space exploration genre. Do you have No Man's Sky? Well, that's one of the best exploration games that I know of. Oh, you know what? Let's not run away. Until I pick up Robo Penguin. We need Robo Penguin. Did I leave? Hmm. Magnetite and lubricant if I want to make another one. Where the heck did I leave the original one? Okay, so I do have one there, but I don't think I can actually use that one. Oh, right. That's the only one I made in this area. This other one that I made is in the other area. That's way over there. That's in the other base. On PlayStation 9 Do Not was looking for it at the Wally World today. From my understanding, they have it cheap. Thought if I were to get the digital copy, it'd be full of money. Full monies? Maybe. I mean, keep your eyes on it, because uh, there are a lot of digital sales all over the place. I have no idea if it's on sale right now, but they go on sale all the time. Might be worth checking the PlayStation Store to see if uh, it is full price or if you can get it at a discount.
It's not, you've checked. Ever heard of the Subnautica clone in space, Breathe Edge? I've heard of it. In fact, I think I might own it. I've never played it, though. There's dangerous weather approaching. There's always... Oh, of course, I picked the one that doesn't have magnetite. It has quartz. The suit is really good, even during the storms. I'm not really losing my temperature. It's not half bad. That was on my list of sci-fi games, along with Mass Effect, which Andromeda is on sale. Andromeda, I really still need to finish Andromeda. That one, I really love Andromeda. But if you can get the Legendary Edition, play that first. And Starship Simulator might be up your alley when it finishes development? Yes. I've streamed Starship development a couple of times. In fact, they're going to be doing another public playtest this month, if I remember correctly. They gave me a key for it, so I was able to stream it last month but there wasn't anything new from the last time, except that I hadn't actually seen everything, so I went through and did a bunch of stuff that I hadn't gotten to at that point. Legendary Edition's full price. Honestly, it's worth it, though. But still, you know, things are expensive these days, I know. I'd be very surprised if you can't end up getting the Legendary Edition maybe during a summer sale or something like that in the not-too-distant future. I think Dan's got the reactor startup running now. Base game sandbox will be free to play. Oh, that's awesome. I'm still upset we will never get Mass Effect Andromeda DLC. You wanted your Quarians? Yeah, I know, Cleric. On the plus side, though, at least we know that the new Mass Effect game is going to be a sequel to both the original trilogy and to Andromeda. Storyline DLCs with custom ships? Yeah, when they sent me the key, they mentioned that... Uh, and I had read about the fact that they're going to sell different types of starships, including smaller ones that are specifically intended for solo play. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kinds of ships they create for that.
sure if this cave looks familiar or not. Oh, yes, actually, it absolutely does. That, really, that's the only thing that makes you excited for a Mass Effect 4? I'm a little surprised, honestly. Snow Fox Fragment. A lot of people dunk on Andromeda. I oh, don't even get me started on the hate reaction to Andromeda. It was so stupid and pointless and unwarranted. You underestimate my wife's Garrus love. Fair enough. I was very shocked at my reaction to Garrus last time I played through the series. Usually he's one of my favorite Danger. characters. Seek shelter. A couple other things, but they're not high on the list because it's too early in development for me to be excited about any of them, and I try not to get my hopes too high for development in series you love. Okay, that actually, that's a very healthy way to approach it. here. Going undercover. Oh my god, it's another cr Ugh. It's all quartz. I don't need quartz. I need stuff. Give me the... Ah, oh. Okay. It has both. It doesn't have a lot of magnetite, though, by the looks of it. Probably about all I can really handle. Oh. Okay. Never mind. We're good. What I missed about Mass Effect was interactive items, furniture, the game world seems so empty with only those containers to interact with. Interesting. I never honestly thought about it. Trying to give grace and all that to the devs, but also understand that CEOs and higher-ups mess up game dev a lot. So until I hear more solid things, not much has me excited. Well, like I said, that's a healthy way to look at it, because you are correct. A lot of stuff can happen. It's not always the dev's fault.
and hopefully it'll be out soon enough and we can see for ourselves. Though I gotta be honest, as much as I love and adore the Mass Effect series, I'm hoping it does not arrive in 2023. I suspect there's very little chance that it will arrive in 2023. I would probably, if I had to guess, say maybe 2025. But there's not really a lot of information to make a solid guess about that either. sketchy. I feel Dragon Age 4 will be next year and Mass Effect 4 will be two years after that. That's just your guess? I mean, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me that much. I haven't really thought a whole lot about the next Dragon Age game. I do expect it's likely to be out before the next Mass Effect game. DA seems to have cooled their jets on some of their third-party companies they acquired, but I do know that DA4 is further in development than Mass Effect 4. Just bought Binding of Isaac Rebirth a few days ago and I'm having a fun time, but the reason I hate myself is because I died the stupidest way possible. That's part of the fun of that kind of game. Or so I'm told. I don't actually like those kinds of games myself, so I have to take people's word for it. So maybe take everything I say about it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Two spikes? I'm sure that's fine, Sketchy. You're not the first, and you won't be the last. Okay, so we've got lots and lots of magnetite now. Well, we've got four magnetite now, but that's more than I had before. So we can make at least one thumper.
used by miners and researchers to explore perilous environments. The thumper creates a steady source of noise that might repel unwanted creatures by amplifying collision sound waves. Sounds good to me. And I can make a vortex torpedo, which I'm not going to need. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. I think we're going to go back and we're going to make ourselves a small cache of batteries. Yeah, it is sketchy. That's why they give you a faster vehicle. I might have to make one of those too. Though I have to admit, I really don't enjoy riding it, and I don't know how much use I would get out of it, frankly, because some of the terrain is not really Snow Fox friendly. Like, you wouldn't be able to take it through that underwater passageway I took. Yeah, the hover bike. silver and gold is the question. Not here. And not there. I do. Okay.
Okay, so this is our storage. That's the fabricator. I think we need the fabricator. We really just need the storage. And we could probably do it without the storage. We don't ask those kinds of questions. We just accept that there is some sort of sci-fi shenanigans that's similar to some sort of a uh, an airlock or waterlock or whatever you want to call it system. And we accept it at face value even though it really doesn't make a lot of sense. The hatches work pretty much the same way. It's a single hatch, but you can enter and leave without flooding anything. Just wish they put a force field animation thing in there, it would help it so much. Yeah, probably would. Sorry. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, right. I don't have the rebreather on me. That's an important fact to keep in mind. So I've got to stick close to the sub. I can't really go too far without it. Just home from door dashing and now cooking too lazy to come up with my own joke to compete but still want a joke? No problem, we can do a joke. All right. How do you know when the moon is going broke? When it's down to a quarter. Hey, Bertree, what do you call cheese that is not your cheese? Nacho cheese, of course. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. Very sorry, sir. Please accept my apologies. Oh, what is this one? 
Oh, I've been here. I, I've been here. Oh, hang on. Sorry, buddy. Don't let me hit you there. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. All your jokes are for third graders? That's not a problem. How's my day been? It's been pretty good. My back is kind of killing me this evening, but other than that, it's been pretty good. And stream has been fantastic so far. Actually, that's been true this entire weekend. It's been really, really fun. I had such a great time with Civilization last night, and Subnautica the night before, and now Subnautica tonight, and... It's just been really, really good. to civilization, Dova. But understandable. Oh, you know what? I just realized if I have to actually go into Copa Mining Site, that's going to be a problem. I would really need the rebreather. So we're gonna have to go pick that up. Wow, sketchy. We have ads starting very soon, so I'm going to take five minutes, and I'm going to do that thing for Mr. Soggy Ramen I mentioned, and I'll be back shortly. I might actually try to get up and move around a little bit, too. I 
I remember pilot ships. Tell me about it, and I will read all about it as soon as I get back. I'll be back in just a few. Probably about five or six. Well, that's just creepy. Wow, okay. You don't see that every day. And I should probably be level one or two. I'm level, what level am I actually? 50. Oh, you, no, no, oh, oh God, oh God. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't, I'm so freaking close. And you're, Damn Apex. Oh my god, you're so close. <laughs> First Apex guild. This one cannot possibly fail. I wanted to take out the billboard. That was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> what the hell? Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildaf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. That's not how you barbecue. That's the ISS Enterprise F, I believe. Or is
Is that the F or the E? No, that's definitely Odyssey class. Crap. <laughs> oh. I thought for a moment I was going right into curious to see where it's gonna dump my ship after I do this. Oh god. Oh what did you Are you freaking serious game? What the hell? It... <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, here's your Jeffrey's tubes. That's hilarious. I love it. Get your boat here. Good for the whole oh. <laughs> um... Hang on, hang on. We need to examine this air. Oh. So uncivilized. No kidding. You said it, Obi-Wan. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! <laughs> was more spectacular well I'm not cold anymore I stand corrected oh shoot Sorry, Dolph. Another one bites the dust. That works. What? Who designed this vessel? Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, California. Which cave is that sketchy? Um, all right, where did we just leave off? We went and... Hello, power. We were getting... L all right. 
I was going in search of lithium and realizing that I need to get my rebreather back again. Uh, I had my rebreather. Damn it. Okay. Here. Give me that. Or not. I'm going to stash that in the truck. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, Cleric. Thank you, Sketchy. The cave in no man's sky. Thing is, there are a lot of caves in no man's sky. Not sure which one in particular you mean. to wearing this one for now and I'll just leave this in the locker. The clip Seek fluid intake. Oh. There we go. Vital signs stabilizing. With the ship stuck in the cave? Do you mean when I was driving along and I fell in the pothole that was bigger than the truck itself? Oh, I think I maybe kind of sort of remember. That's sketchy. Maybe. Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. Oh, when I teleported and the ship was in... Okay, yeah, okay. Now... Teleporting. That's the key to my remembering that one. That's a very new clip. I just did that a few days ago. You've... Oh, no. What happened, Greeny? I hope everything's okay. Guys. It hardly needs to be said that uh, Greeny is a, an awesome friend of the channel. But just in case anybody's not aware, please make sure you go give him a follow. Never a great day when you walk into work and get yelled at? Oh my god. That does sound like it sucks. I'm very sorry. Especially with everything that you're struggling with there right now. With the lack of people and all. Sunday's a 12-hour day. Oof. Well, you're back now, at least, so there's that. zip through here and see if we can find anything. You 
Got another chef who comes by and picks you up on Sundays? Okay. So sure this is gonna give me what I need. There's lots of diamond and ruby and a variety of other things, but I'm not seeing a single bit of lithium here, which is very surprising. I don't think there is any diamond down here, or a lithium, rather. I was joking with him on the way in. Oh, I'm sure Redacted will yell at me once we walk in, and he did. I'll be honest, he's the only reason I want to look elsewhere. The owner, we're cool co-workers. Now that Salsa Boy is gone, we're good. Oof. This was a total bust as far as lithium goes. It's a shame you can't open these doors. I'd love to explore some other parts of the mine. If he was an aspect Gordon Ramsay level good with his food, I'd be fine, but he's not. He doesn't use salt at all. Like, anything he makes has no flavor. Oh my god. Worms area? What do you mean by worms area? and see if we can find another area that's got some. I thought there was some in the 
mine, but I guess not. Oh, but there is here. Thank you, Greeny. California. Oh, I might not actually have to go much further. If I can find enough lithium just around here, we will be good. Had like an hour just trying to get your mouse to repair with the laptop because of Bluetooth issues. That doesn't sound fun either. At least you got it though. Bluetooth issues, I know they're never fun. I can't wait until Bluetooth goes away. It's a terrible protocol. Now, five? You know, that's actually probably okay. I will grab any more that we find along the way, but we're gonna circle around and head home. Well, we all have limited options as far as protocols like that go. Bluetooth is great when it works. The problem is that it just really doesn't work all that well. And that's just not going to change until we come up with a new protocol, but it's so widespread in use in the tech industry that we're just going to be stuck with it for a while because it's what all the tech companies build into their products. Oh, what might this be?
Okay, I think we pretty much found all the lithium we're going to on this trip. Yes, I don't believe there are any resources, with one possible exception, that respawn, as far as your building materials go, at least. Food can respawn, like fish. And uh, plants that you grow, you can make more. But your lithium, your titanium, all that kind of stuff, you can, I mean, it would be insanely difficult, but you could theoretically run out of it. Okay, now I'm out of silver and gold. That's probably all right, One thing I would like to do while I'm here is maybe charge up the prawn suit, because that's the battery's running down on that. I don't think it gets charged while it's in the truck dock here. Oh, it's in the other truck. Right, and I did want to make the upgrade for it. The storage upgrade.
So I think I know where we have to go next. We could go back and explore more land areas, but I have another idea in mind. I think we have to go back to the nope zone and explore as deeply as we can. So what do we got here? That's the sleeper docking. Yeah, we're gonna want those. Maybe not the sleeper, but at least the docking. We want the dock module back. Welcome aboard, Captain. This should be fully charged by now. Oh! Actually, one other thing I should check. Oh, it's not fully charged. It's only 95%. So that's a power cell. We might go looking for a little more gold and silver. Because I would very much like to have the, uh, the truck and the prawn suit running on ion batteries, I believe. Of course, we could always look for gold and silver while we're down where we have to go. The Bugs Bunny module, because it's a <laughs> not that kind of dock. Damn it. Okay, so what was it? I need... <clears throat> I need a fair bit more silver, so maybe what we'll do is we'll allow this to keep charging. And while it is, let's put this back in, and we're going to take that one out, and we're going to go find some more silver and gold. Looks like there's a bit of potential silver here. Nice, so that's three. I need at least four more though, because I'm gonna need wiring kits.
today, sir. That was not too steep to run around back here. Oh, crap. Still falling. That'll buff out. Okay, that might be enough silver. I definitely need more gold, though. I think even my truck is pretty much full at this point. And I definitely need at least one more gold. It's fine. Oh, right. I don't have the fabrication unit. That's over there. Okay. I guess we're gonna make a few things over here then.
Okay, so... Now I need rubber. I don't suppose I've got any of that stored around, do I? I mean, it's not hard to make. Okay, so now I can make two of the power cells. And we're going to use those in the prawn suit. And that's probably fine. That oh. Damn it. Stash those there. Now let's see if I'm right. Since I've got a truck in there, maybe I can dock this with the docking station after all. Pretty sure you can't if there's no truck there, but since there's a truck there... Yeah, okay, so that allows it. time now. What? That's such a big dock. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Greeny. Thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate that. I forgot to switch over to a default voice. I'll have to see about that. Although, it worked pretty well for that line.
You did not expect that. <laughs> Always expect the unexpected. I thought I dumped some silver in here. I did. Okay. That made it so much better. <laughs> That's that thing that Tibbs uses. Okay, we're gonna have to go back down again. We already talked about that on the Discord, didn't we? I haven't the faintest clue. I would want to decide in the moment, not beforehand. That's usually how I make that kind of decision, is just what do I feel like playing at the moment that I'm making characters? I mean, I could say I would like to play an Elven Bard. But if I felt like playing something different when we actually started up the game and I made a character, then I would feel no obligation to stick to that. Say you pick a no monk, okay. idea probably something less fightery I feel like monks fall into the fighter kind of category so something thief like or mage like or cleric like
As time for it gets closer and closer, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna have multitudes of characters. You already have plans for the first few hours of release. Well, yeah, I'm almost certainly going to do a paladin for the very first one. It'll probably end up being the daughter of uh, the character I played in the first game. She followed in his footsteps, became a paladin, and etc., etc. I think I've been here before. The shadows have been very quiet. What's wrong with them? not complaining, by the way. The polycage plant exhibits bioluminescence caused by the chemical reaction between a light-emitting molecule and a particular enzyme. I just noticed I already have one of the power cells in the truck upgraded. So I only need one more. That's actually kind of handy. Oh god, come on. Come on. There we go. Sorry. I'm honestly really curious to see how this module for Neverwinter Nights is going to play out the one that's based on Descent into Wavernus. I'm pretty curious about that myself. You've talked about it a fair bit. Considering I'm now officially into Chapter 3 of Baldur's Gate 2, I should breeze through a lot of things soon. You did a lot of side quests. Very cool. just was, isn't it? I don't want to go down there. Oh. 
Okay, what's this? As soon as Baldur's Gate 3 comes out with a story mode, I'm resuming barding the heck out of it. This, I've never been here, that's for sure. I'm a little concerned about the size of the truck I'm driving. I don't think that this was intended to be navigated with a truck of this length. So it's coming out at least, the currently announced release date is August, is it not? Or the current rumor, I should say. I don't think it's been confirmed. Okay, guys, uh, we have ads beginning in less than a minute, so I'm going to go take my next break, and as soon as I'm done, we will read these Architect Constituent Parts notes, and uh, we'll continue on from here, since it looks like we're back on the track of making serious progress again. So I'll be back in about five. but notice that this might be a little bit bugged because in spite of the fact that she's standing there and talked to us, the game does seem to think that Barth here is dead. Coward almost got us killed. Take you. Now she is no longer dead. She's also called Ramira. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> I'm really glad they put that in there. <laughs> He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder... Oh no! <laughs> oh 
Um. I. <laughs> well, crap. Preoccupied. Oh. Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow. Nice. What do we have here? I have inventory space. I love it. My adventure is over. To whoever finds this time capsule, I've given you a few supplies to help boost your mood. Oh, that's a really awesome looking base. I like that. Thank you, anonymous player. So, I got a couple of ion cubes. A coffee Americano. Very nice. Mixed chips. Okay. There. Very Wait, who just did... I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck after... Okay, I'm back. Ugh, my back is feeling much, much better now. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. <laughs> okay, let's read this. <clears throat> Archi the architect organs are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material containing a variety of subsystems. The heart is particularly is a particularly complex centerpiece in this biological technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects of the alien corpus while also functioning as the primary energy source for the cybernetic neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredible computational power, the architect brain. No respiration or digestive systems appear to be present, suggesting a life that is fed entirely by sustained electrical energy, and a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. In spite of its intricate design, the insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the architect body to the possibility of disease. So, that should give us a brand new thing. We still need the tissues, but we've got the skeleton and the organs now. So, we need an ion cube, two ribbon plants, and three kyanite to make the organs. For the skeleton, we need polyaniline, three diamonds, and plasteel.
It is a lot of crystals. found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was inherited. Okay. So outpost zero is there. Home is there. Delta stations there. Wreckage there. Marguerite's area is right there. What the heck? We're missing one. Where is the nope zone? Oh, that way, okay. Let's save here. streak. We got ridiculously far without ever encountering or even seeing one of those things. Then he just had to come along and destroy it.
And we're out. Okay. They're not kidding. I really do need to eat, don't I? Vital signs stabilizing. I almost forgot. Maybe attempting to dock a little too fast. Welcome aboard, Captain. But there we go. We found the thing. Now, I don't suppose Alan had any other hints about where we might need to go. Let's take a look at some of the details we've got in here. Okay, so, um... That's what we just read. The containment cube is where we found Alan, so that's not of any help to us. Maps, maybe. <clears throat> I am reasonably certain that one of the components we're looking for, probably the tissues, is found on land. But based on this map here, it looks like we've already basically found everything. But the map doesn't cover anything on that end. Maybe we need to go back there again next. Let me switch into the snowsuit. Ooh. I just lost chat for a moment there, guys. Hang on a second. My browsers have been acting weird for a bit. Go, Grogu, what's going on? We're being sub naughty tonight? We are. How are you doing? And we've got a thumper. I don't know if we need the thumper, though. We probably need the thumper, let's be honest. Uh, 
I'm glad to hear that. How's your weekend been? I'm one silver away from being able to build another battery, which would enable me to build another power thing, which would enable me to finish upgrading the truck. Let's take this one and see if I can't find another silver. Been great. Previous week was kind of bad with strong dust storms and cold wind. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's been mostly blizzard here. No dust storms, so I'm not sure how those work. Silver, where are you? All I'm finding now is potential copper and lead. And gold. Lots of gold. Oh, 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 okay. Fingers crossed. Yay. battery and ion power cell whoa <laughs> what the hell was that weird I got thrown to the side They are pie, it's true.
Uh, okay, so we got that done. Um, let's go back to Phi. That's what happens when you have too many ions. There's no such thing. Can't have too many ions. Physics or physics, it's true. Sounds good, Greeny. And I apologize, Pia. I should have thought of that, too. Totally deserved, Pilatius. Totally deserved. Just not used to the support being so consistent. Well, get used to it. That's all I can say. Not sure where the worm was, but I don't want to find out outside the suit. Seek 
fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. I'm not sure about going down there in the suit. I don't know if that's going to work. But I kind of wonder if maybe I need to. Oh, it actually does work. get out here? I guess I can get out here. I'm trying to think of the craziest characters to make, though, really, just basic D&D, so nothing will be too crazy. Gnome, Barbarian, Half-Orc, Bard, Dragonborn, Thief are the ones I've thought of so far. But do we know if Dragonborn are actually going to be in? I've never heard anything about that. Pro or con. Larian said everything in the player's handbook will be there, and we've seen evidence of the half-orc at least. Okay. Now oh, that's back down in here again. I don't really want to do that. wasn't expecting that to actually work, but there we go.
for species? Probably human or half elf. Maybe elf, but probably half elf. Is it not regenerating more ion cubes? That's unfortunate. No, probably not tiefling. Not for the first playthrough, anyway. Although, could be a possibility, I suppose. That's a bad move, sir. get into a fight with this suit, sir. I like that I can mostly ignore them. I do think, though, that I need to swap out my arms. Actually, maybe I'll just use... No, I'm going to do both. Captain. I want to see if I can grapple my way up there. Okay, that's very unclear. But it doesn't really seem all that promising, honestly. Exactly, Greeny. Exactly. Um... I'm confused about this area. Almost looked like it could have worked. Give it a rest, buddy. Oh, 
where else can I go from here if not there? I wonder... I think this is back to Ion Cube land. Or maybe... Nope, that is back to Ion Cube land. It isn't. And I'm not sure it's assuming that I'm supposed to get there that way either. I mean, I can get a little elevation here, but I'm so far away. I don't know that this actually does me a lot of good. Gotcha. Okay. I would never be able to repeat that again, but I did it. And now I'm actually kind of wondering if this is even a place I'm supposed to be able to get to. Okay, well, that uh, that would be a sign that indicates, yes, I am supposed to get here. <laughs> All right, let's have a look around. suit. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Okay, so teleport gate active. We'll explore that in just a moment. Okay, definitely have not been here before. What? Oh. Okay, uh, our experience in the first game has taught us that that doesn't work with the suit, so we're not going down there. Ow. need yet another battery. Let's see where we go. 
This might be the way that we're supposed to actually arrive here. Oh, no, it can't be, though, because we had to activate the gate, and the other side wouldn't be active until we did it here. So we had to get here first. Oh, we're... Oh, my God, this is so convenient. We got here early in the freaking game. Now we can just teleport back. That's awesome. I suppose is how do I get back because I came in through there Can I? oh look at that they provided a ramp for the uh, brown suit that's really convenient thank you guys okay now let's see if I can find my way back that's the other issue I think I came from that way. Oh, actually, no. You know what? This looks more familiar. We definitely passed that. Submarine is getting awfully close. What the heck? Ah, there's a giant wall. Okay. I kind of regret about the prawn suit. I do sort of wish that it had some sort of headlight. I mean, I guess it has something, but... Yeah, okay. It definitely has something. I guess I wish it were a little more focused and a little brighter.
Okay, definitely been here. Which means you can definitely walk to the area that we were in. Which means I definitely have to try and find my way back again. Which could be easier said than done, unless I can find my way to the teleporter from the other side. I'm very glad I upgraded the power in the suit. Because we're 93%. And the power is five times greater with the ion batteries. Oh. Hello. Greenhouse. This is your area, Greeny. This alien structure, found commonly shielded from natural sunlight, appears to be a carefully controlled containment and cultivation environment for natural flora. In other words, a greenhouse. The main chamber appears to be capable of precise temperature and humidity control, allowing plant life to be grown carefully outside of its natural habitat. We did! I'm very curious what those are. At this point, I really have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of exploring. But we keep finding stuff, so it seems to be working. the area that we're supposed to be in.
this one yet. Acquired. A Snow Fox Ice Worm Attack Reduction Module. I'm sure that's very convenient to have if you're actually using the Snow Fox. in their territory right now, Tigeron. I just opened up the alien teleportation gate. And I found the greenhouse. doing Tigerung, it's good to see you. Architect component. There we go. Ah, that is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. <laughs> you have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. I'll take it. All right, that's awesome. Whoops. Large emerald. Pure emerald is typically colorless. These large crystals contain trace amounts of chromium, leading to the development of the distinctive green color seen here. Mining activity near these crystals suggests they are valued for their applications in architect technology. I believe I still have to actually find the location where you make the body. I've got all the components now. I don't think I've found the facility where you actually make the thing, though. Let's have a look. Um, uh, 
A leather-like tissue sample of alien origin. DNA markers indicate a complex mixture synthesized from over 20 different sources. The tissue sample incorporates advanced biocomposites, resulting in unique mechanical properties. Compression. Extremely high compressive strength protects against external forces and may indicate adaption or adaptation to extreme environments. Impact. High resistance to damage from high energy impacts. Elasticity. Low modulus of elasticity allows tissue to conform and stretch in response to body locomotion, which makes it, taken all together, a little weird that this one was destroyed this way. I would rather you not tell me where it is, Tag Run, but if I have a hint already in my notes, I would definitely take a pointer to the hint, so the hint can point me at it. So good, sir. An extremely large and dangerous leviathan, approximately 95 meters long, with a thick plated exoskeleton that burrows through dense ice shelves with minimal resistance. Plating the ice worm is covered in a thick exoskeleton with backward facing spikes. The exoskeleton protects the soft upper body of the ice worm as it moves through the ice. The spikes create treads that rapidly shuttle melted water back as it burrows, similar to tire treads. The interior of the ice worm is covered in a thicker skin that doesn't require plating. Superheated horn. The horn of the ice worm is the thickest part of the creature. The inner chambers of the horn are filled with deposits of raw alkali metals that react violently with water, creating an exothermic chemical reaction. As the ice worm burrows, small microscopic grooves continuously channel water into these chambers, allowing it to burrow with ease. Behaviors. The ice worm is an ambush predator. It relies on sound traveling through the ice to alert it to potential prey. It then lunges through the ice and uses its horn and mandibles to attack. The ice worm can be temporarily distracted through the use of sonic devices. Assessment. Aggressive and lethal. Avoid. Ah, oh, crap. I apologize, folks. We're almost done an ad break. I am so sorry, folks. I was just waiting there a few seconds. Uh, it looks like I completely spaced on an ad break, which is honestly a little flabbergasting because they're three minutes long now. So I apologize. That would have been my last break of the evening. I might still have to take one. Um, I'm not sure. My back is feeling better, but I probably will need one at some point. But uh, we'll see how we get on without it. Mostly what you would have missed is I found a dead ice worm and scanned it.
Not sure what notes you have or if there's a hint in them you found it by exploring, then I'll just have to find it by exploring as well. That's not a big problem. You know, I actually really am finding that the grapple arms are not as useful as I expected them to be. I'm always looking for silver. I might as well grab it while it's here. <laughs> I think I'll pass. I can always do another playthrough later and do that. Besides, I don't actually seem to run into them very often. Okay, let's follow 
the lights. Take that. For some reason, they don't attack, uh, react to the prawn. If you were in the snow fox or on foot, they'd attack every 30 seconds or so. I have been attacked a couple of times, or at least they've shown up. But I have been exploring almost exclusively in the prawn, it's true. I wonder if the prawn sounds too big and heavy and threatening and so they don't try to attack. Because I actually did get the prawn attacked by one of them at one point and it did some damage. But it wasn't like even remotely close to an insta kill or anything. here again.
regret this. No, it's just more of the tunnels. Skipping from safe zone to safe zone was harrowing the first time. You're making me very glad I brought the prawn suit. Wow, Tiger Rock. here again. Seek new identity. Again? Really? Try this. Oh. Okay, where does this come out? We haven't been down here yet. Interesting. The whites of her eyes are blue. Yeah, that doesn't seem like the best idea. Take the dive. Oh. I guess we're going up.
realized I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to get the prawn suit out of this door. Oh. Okay. I did not expect that to work, but apparently there we go. I can't even imagine. I've never had a tattoo, so I don't know what it feels like on the body parts that are, for lack of a better term, supposed to get tattoos. More typically get tattoos. So you can use the prawn suit to bypass some of the penguin accessible areas. That's awesome. Accidentally got poked in the eye and that hurts enough you can't imagine needles? Yeah, that's a good point, honestly. That would have to suck. As a person with contact lenses, I poke my own eyes gently relatively often. That's already slightly irritating. As a person who's worn glasses for his entire life since he was five years old, tried contact lenses once and noped out of ever using them ever again, I believe you.
Okay. We have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, you couldn't have given us a few more hints as to the location, Alan. Back. Two days a month I use glasses to give my eyes a rest and give them some air. I truly hate using glasses. The world looks crooked through them. Well, I have been using them since I was five years old. It honestly looks a little weird to me when I don't use glasses. Gonna head to bed, have a good night, and rest of stream. Thank you so much, Space Vikings, and I will catch you again soon. Have a fantastic night. I will be back on tomorrow. Uh, we're not wrapping up right this minute, although it occurs to me it is getting awfully close to 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but uh, if you are planning on returning tomorrow, I will be doing my first ever ATS stream. That's American Truck Simulator. So we will be getting back to Subnautica pretty soon. Oh, let me actually check my schedule. Because we've got birthday news coming up too. Okay, but that's not this next group. We're doing ATS tomorrow, then we've got Thursday through Monday, and then after that is when things start to get a little wonky because my birthday is coming up and I'm doing the long stream of the month. My birthday is on Thursday, but family's coming into town for it because it's a big birthday. And so I can't actually do the long stream on the Thursday itself. What I can do is stream on Wednesday and do that as the long stream. So it'll be the day before my birthday, but because I cross over the midnight line, a good chunk of it will actually be on my birthday itself. What made you want to do ATS? I've actually played the game before. It's a fun game. But, uh, yeah. I promised Ultra I would do it. I've never streamed it before, but I've played, um, I, I don't know how much I've played it, but I've played it before. Maybe 15 hours or so, I think, total. There's something meditative about it. It's kind of the same deal as doing, like, uh, Death Stranding or Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen. I mean, it's just a series of delivery missions. I started doing ETS several years ago just thinking it'd be neat to see Europe in some way. That's not a bad point, actually. I have ETS as well, I believe. I found out that I should not play ETS when I'm even slightly tired. Crashing in a truck is just irritating. Now, see, 
I intend to drive pretty much the way I do in all driving games, which is to say it's ludicrous to me that people mm -hmm. think for some reason that you should attempt to drive normally as you would on the roads. I cannot fathom why people think this. It's a video game. It's consequence-free driving. Why would you not drive like a maniac? I just don't get it. Okay, let's replace those. Do you turn off the police? No, I leave them on. <sighs> okay, guys. Um, it is almost four o'clock in the morning, and I stayed up late last night streaming. I think we might wrap up here. And next time we stream this, which we'll do during the next set of streams, we will find the fabrication thing and maybe wrap up the game. I think that'll be good. Only reason I had for following the speed limits was to avoid speeding tickets? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see who we've got online this evening. Okay, uh, speaking of Ultra, she is actually on and playing some SnowRunner tonight. But st starting from the bottom of the list, lowest number of viewers, to highest number of viewers, looks like Hodon Kane is playing some Warframe. Candlejack is playing Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. And I think Candlejack has been on forever. Like, I remember looking at the list this afternoon and seeing that he was on. Um, of course, that also means he's probably going to end soon. <laughs> After that, it's actually Ultra uh, with Snow Runner. Lunity's on. She's playing some Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. Simcopter is playing Kerbal Space Program, and that looks like that's about it for this evening. Uh, we'll decide that next time I stream at Tagarong. We'll be doing ATS tomorrow, so I'm not going to need it tonight or tomorrow. But we'll see. So any thoughts on where we'd like to go? I kind of know where I'm inclined to go. I th I'll go to bed after Candle or Ultra. I think we'll go Ultra. I would like to raid Candlejack soon. I think we're going to go Ultra tonight just because um, she is a new mod in the channel and I think she's planning on trying to boost the numbers tomorrow for the ATS stream. So let me get you her link. I'm sure you all have it already anyway. But let's go see what Ultrasaurus is up to tonight with SnowRunner. So let me also get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the Heart Emote and the Wave Emote of the channel if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have some of your own or from another streamer, maybe from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be 
pretty good in my book. So we're gonna go hang out with Ultrasaurus. She's a really, really good friend of the channel. Really, really long time friend of the channel now. And um, she plays a lot of simulation games, including ATS and a lot of SnowRunner and stuff. She used to play a lot of dino games. She's uh, really fantastic and chill and fun to hang out with. So let's go see what she's up to. And I will be back tomorrow night. I can't believe tomorrow's already Monday. But just let me get my right call. So thank you folks so much for the ridiculous generosity tonight, the hype train and everything. Uh, it was really, really crazy. So thank you so much for all of that and just in general for making the last several streams so incredibly fun. It's been really, really nice. And uh, I can actually feel a lot of the tension melting away in my shoulders and upper back. So thank you for that. Um, so let's get over to Ultra's channel and uh, I'll see you guys over there and hopefully back here tomorrow night as well for some trucking. I will probably need a lot of backseating from chat tomorrow with ATS. That's definitely not going to be a no backseating stream. That will be backseating very welcome. And so uh, we'll see what happens. I have played the game before, but I just played it offline, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'll see if you guys can help me out with that. And uh, let's go, let's let's go visit Ultra, and I'll see you guys over there. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. The dome. I'm right here, sir. And or madam. We are really good at sneak. What you Okay, I am taking the win, even though...